Hi, I'm Veronica, and I'm here with a little math tip for you today. Um, this is something we've put together a little worksheet for when you want to substitute uh, yarn for a project like a sweater, and you don't want to use the original yarn that they've called for. So today we're going to do a little simple math. We're going to need a pen and a calculator and this worksheet. If you aren't real sure about which yarn you want to substitute for the yarn given in your pattern, please refer to our tip about yarn substitutions, which will help you make that decision. So for this tip, we're going to focus on how to determine how much yarn to buy after you've decided on the substitution you want. And this tip is designed to help you feel more confident making those calculations. So I've decided to knit a sweater with Yausa today. And for an example pattern, here we are. I want to first decide which size sweater I'm going to knit to determine how many yards I'm going to need total. So for me, I would want to knit the 43 inch sweater. And my pattern says I'm going to need nine skeins of a yarn that has 248 yards per skein. Now this pattern has been really nice to us and it's done some math for us. But you may come across a pattern, like an older pattern, that may only tell you how many skeins you need total, not even any yardage. So on the internet you can search for that type of yarn and get that information that you need. So now we're going to do a little math, get our calculator out, and 9 times 248 is 2232. So that's our total yardage that we're going to need to complete the sweater. Yauza has 560 yards per skein. So we're going to mark that down here. And then it's a simple little bit of division. So we need 2232 divided by 560. We're going to do that here on our calculator is equal to 3.98. Well, that's not a whole number, so we're going to need to round up. And you always need to round up. There's no such thing as partial yarn. So that's going to mean we need four skeins of yarn total. You can also buy a, an additional skein for insurance. Uh, if you're concerned about running out of yarn, just don't wind that last skein. But you do always want to buy all your yarn at the same time so that it matches. Um, this little formula is a great tip to refer back to, and using this worksheet can help you be a little bit more confident about trying to figure out how much yarn you need to buy for your project. I hope this helps.